Ever since I can remember, I've been singing. I've accomplished a lot at a young age. I remember putting my first album out at 15 years old, my second at 18. And from there, it's just like sky high, man. Traveling, touring the world, working with different producers and different artists. I've even done films. I've done a lot of things that a lot of teenagers and young adults wish they could say they've done. But through it all, there's been this monkey on my back, this burden. And that's been my mother's drug addiction. Something that I've dealt with a lot of my life. You feel like just because you're my mom, you can do whatever you want. What are you talking about? Use it. Around me. Here. That. Can't nobody, not a, not a doctor, not a detox, and can't nobody say it's over until I say it's over. My addiction, my disease, it's over when I say it's over. Whether I'm on stage, whether I'm accepting an award, or whether I'm on a flight to wherever I'm going, this is always on my mind. This is my story and how I'm fighting to help her save her life. I remember my mother really, really 
seeing the vision for me. And she would tell me, you're going to sing. You're going to be a star one day. She started enrolling me in like talent shows and just gave me the extra push. And she gave me the confidence to get on stage. And even if I was the youngest artist on, on stage, she told me there was nothing that I couldn't do. Nothing's impossible. She met my first manager at a talent show that I did. And I ended up moving to New Jersey. I stayed with him for about four years. I saw her maybe a couple times a year. She wanted me to pursue a career and she trusted my first manager to get that off the ground. But from that point on, my mother's drug addiction just got worse and worse. She wasn't involved in any aspect of my career at all. When you look at me, I know you see 16-year-old getting his dough. Being on the road touring, it was a lot. I, mean, I wasn't happy at all. You know, I miss my mother. I'm like, she needed to be in my life. She needed to be there. So I told her to come out with me. From where did you go to? Baltimore. Oh. Baltimore. Come see what I do. This is my mom's. Oh, she always said that my full potential probably wouldn't come until she was with me. Everything you get good comes from me. She went to rehab and she felt like she's making progress. She felt like she's doing what a mother is supposed to do. You should be really, really proud. Oh, I am so proud of him. That's why I'm here. I mean, I've been wanting to be here with him for like, oh, forever. But you know, things, situations, things happen. There was a period of Mario's life I just wasn't there. And I didn't experience what he went through during those times. So how can I make up for that time? I can't. I just have to pick up the ball and roll with it now. Hola, mi amor. Hi. After being an active addiction for 22, 23 years, you realize you are tired. Are oh, you doing your lady thing? Yeah, I remember a doctor telling me years ago, you either get it together or something from your addiction is going to kill you. Oof, thankfully. The determination I had to use, my determination is so much greater than that, to be here with him, and it gets greater and greater every day. Mom, you got to hurry up. I think she says it, but wanted to come out on the road with me. But I have to make a decision if that's something that I think I can handle or not. Taking into consideration the things that I've already experienced with her, I just know it could really turn into something really ugly. I will learn any and everything that I need to know about his career. It's like the same drive of needing a fix. I think my mother's using right now. What if I found you another treatment center to go in? It's not a thing that a treatment center can tell me today.